what's up viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video let me give a big shout out to my new subscribers and for all those of you who have been watching my videos and who have been commenting and who have been sharing my videos maximum respect for that therefore in today's video i'm going to present to you a full set of working drawings that i have put together for a close family member of mine, my sister to be exact. So this building design is done for Monza, Greater Portmore. So I've put, put together the drawings, sent it to the Portmore Municipal Corporation sometime in the earlier part of last year. And just over a week ago, I have managed to get the approval and now we can look forward to start construction sometime in the future. So this building, and if you're familiar with Portmore, you know that Portmore comes, Greater Portmore to be exact, it comes with quads. So you can do your addition to the building, but you can't build on top of the existing West Indies home contractor house. So it is a non-structural house that is placed on a slab and grade with a non-structural slab roof, all right? So I want you to watch the video. And if in the event that you have any question, just shoot me a comment in the comment section and I will be more than happy to answer your question. Stick and stay to the video, all right? No respect. So viewers and subscribers, to begin the presentation of this full set of working drawings, I'm going to show you the first two pages with the seal and signature from the Municipal Corporation of Portmore. So this is the cover page here, which bears the seal or the stamp from the Portmore Municipal Corporation. Just to show you what a stamp drawings, a stamp approved drawings look like. So this is what the stamp look like. So this is the first page, the cover page. And I also take a photograph of the second page to show you the seal from the Portmore Municipal Corporation. All right, so this is the second page. So the second page consists of the foundation plan the floor plan and the first floor plan. So I'm going to give you a more in-depth explanation by looking at the PDF, the PDF drawings, because the PDF drawings is more clearer and you can see everything in a better light. So let me start off by showing you the cover page. So, so this is a cover page here, so here, is what is on the side currently so let me give you a bit of explanation on what is going on on the side so initially my sister she went ahead and built two rooms but the two rooms that was built there wasn't any approved drawings for these two rooms so i had was to redraw it and incorporate with the proposed of the entire building design all right so that is what is on the site currently so this these two rooms here is currently on the site but as i said there's no approved drawings for the first two rooms so i had to do everything from scratch all right so this is a site plan here and let me give you a little bit of explanation of the about the site plan so here you have the existing West Indies home contractor one bedroom quad and as stipulated on the title the restrictive covenant states and it states quite explicitly that you cannot build on the existing West Indies home contractor house right because this existing house is placed on a slab and grade and there is no foundation system to transfer the load to the ground, right? And second, the, the roof slab is 
non-structural also. From my recollection, I think the roof slab is reinforced with BRC mesh. So no loads can go on top of the slab itself and also there is not a proper foundation system to carry the weight of the structure. So, we, so you have to build around the existing structure. All right. So the site, so let me show you the setback. So from the front, the setback is, is four feet, three inches from the front. From the side, it is four feet. And from the back, it is three feet, six inches. So all these setbacks here comes directly from the restrictive covenant of the title. Okay. That's where I get this step back from. And the parish council, the municipal corporation is going to look, look, look for these setbacks according to what the title stipulates. All right. So these are your gully basin and these are your manual here, right? That goes around the building. And then when it goes into the, the existing manual, it goes to a central sewage system. So there's no absorption pit. There's no reed bed and there's no septic tank or tide field. Everything goes to the manual and then to a central sewage system. So that is what the site plan entails. All right. And here is also a, I incorporate a entry, a four feet entry to get access to the building. So these lands here, around the quad is not very big. I used to live in one of these quads back in the 90s and I didn't really recognize until I was doing these drawings that the land space is so limited. So that is the next learning curve for those of you who are planning to buy one of these quads or any poor, any Matalan building or West Indies home contractor building, the land space is not too much in particular all right so that is for in greater portmore other areas it might be different all right so let me show you what is going on with the floor plan now so this is the foundation plan here all right and as you can see the existing one room quad here this is the floor plan so again these two rooms the living and the bedroom was already built but there was no approved drawings for these two rooms so all i did was to add this portion to the structure along with what is going on top of the structure so this is the upper floor plan right the first floor so so let me give you an explanation now. So you have an entry here, the entry through this veranda here, and this is your sitting and your fire area. And then behind here, behind here is the laundry. And of course, this is the living and the bedroom. So the bedroom is of a dimension of 10 feet, six inches by 10 feet, nine inches. Not very big. So as I said to you before, the land space around these one bedroom quad is not very much. So the space is very, very limited. All right. So here is the stairs that take, it takes you to the upper floor, right? And on the first floor, on the first floor, so you, after you come up the stairs, you enter into this area right and then you have a utility room here it can also be used for a small bedroom not very big it is only seven feet by eight feet not very big probably a single bed or a little double bed can hold inside it so it's like i use it as a utility room it can be used for a gym she can use it for a gym or she can use it as a guest bedroom and then you have a bedroom here which is the which is 10 feet 6 inches by 14 feet with a 1 foot 6 inches closet and this is the bathroom here right to facilitate the bedroom and this utility room not very big a very very small building and then you have a balcony so the balcony is affixed over the veranda at the front 
So it's not a very big structure. Land space was not that big to do the the um a more you know fancy design. So I have to keep it simple, right? So so again, so you have your floor plan here, right? Your you have your foundation plan here. You have your floor plan here, and this is the first floor plan. Very very simple design. All right. And then these are the elevations. So this is the front elevation. This is the left elevation. And of course, this is the right elevation. There's not so much a rear elevation, right, for this design because you have to remember now how the one bedroom quad is set up in Greater Portmore. There are four. So if you look at the back, you're gonna look. You're gonna be looking directly at the quad, at the one bedroom quad that is exactly behind the quad that I designed this building for. All right. So these are all your elevation. This is your front, your left side, and your right side. And of course, this is your your electrical and drainage. Your electrical and drainage. And this is your manual the plan manual and this is a section this is a section through the manual this is your electrical legend your plumbing legend and your fire legend all right and then these now are the section to the building the longitudinal section and the transverse section section bb and section aa all right and of course this is the roof plan and this is the roof framing plan all right and these are all your roof details your typical rich detailed your valley detail and your eve detail all right and this is your slab reinforcement plan so this is a reinforcement plan for the floor slab that is going to form the upper floor and these are all your sections so this is your section AA through your floor slab and this is the section BB through the floor slab and of course these are all your block detail for your slabs right all your engineering detail all right So this is your footing detail here and this is your plan reinforcement for your stairs and this is the section through the section cut to your stairs all right and of course these are your stiffener detail and your um, your column detail stiffener detail and column detail and these are all the your balcony your balcony railing detail right and this is your hand rail detail and this is your plan trap gully basin and this is your section to your trap gully basin so that comprises the full set of working drawings this is it is only 10 sheets as I said to you before, it's not a very, very big building. It's, not a, it's a simple design, right? It's a simple design. So there's not many, many details to it, right? And I, I, I usually do not do a window schedule and door schedule. I don't really do that. I leave that up to the, the, um, the client to do their their specialty oftentimes you do window detail and door and door, t door details the client doesn't use that they change afterwards and i don't want to waste time doing that right so that that is it that is it for this video so if you're watching the video and you have you have a you have a similar drawings to do you have a quad or addition to do to a, one of these structures my number and email is in the description so no respect watch the video till the end like share and comment all right maximum respect thank you